Hey everybody, it's Mike coming to you from Vaud RV. So excited today because I've got the first of its kind behind me. I've got a Whitehawk 26 FK front kitchen. Never had one before. It's a brand new model. I love it. It might be, probably is my favorite couples camper floor plan to date, especially in the Whitehawk line. Before I get started, I'm excited to show off my personal top three favorite things about this model. Number one, we finally have a front kitchen floor plan in a White Hawk model, lots of counter space, and we can make full use of this window right up here in the kitchen. Number two, we have the bed in a slide, which really opens up the bedroom area. Number three, right inside the door, I have a coat closet right where I need it the most. Okay, now on this White Hawk, we're about 32 feet and 7,200 pounds, 7,300 pounds. So first question out of your mouth, hey, is it half ton towable? Maybe. If you've got a properly equipped with a tow package, half ton truck, pretty good chance you can pull it. Best to check for sure. So if you load this guy up, you're going to be closer to 8,500 uh, pounds, maybe 9,000 pounds. So that's going to be pushing the limits to many half ton trucks. But Let's get with the fun stuff. Now, I've got pass-through storage up here, and I've already, check this out. Now, this is standard in all 2023 Feathers and Whitehawks. It's a Furion on-demand tankless water heater. So, you've got perpetual hot water. Here's the magic about this one in particular. It's 60,000 BTUs. If you're shopping out there, many tankless water heaters you're going to find in other manufacturers are going to top out at about 40,000 BTUs. That's none too much. 60,000 is fantastic. You're not going to run out of hot water. You're going to have plenty of it, and it's going to be plenty hot. That's great, and it's standard in 2023. I always like the Jayco uh, slam latch doors. They're thick. You can see how thick they are. That means they're well insulated. Nice pass-through storage that's clean. You can see immediately right here we have a griddle as well as a griddle shelf that goes into what Jayco calls the J-Port. So these, this unit comes with a griddle. A nice pass-through storage and you can see up on top there is our inverter and we'll take a look at that when we get over to the other side. Now this is going to look consistent with previous year models but I got two 30s on propane up here that are tied together. Our battery tray back here two batteries. These units all come fully uh, prepped for you before you take delivery. Electric tongue jack and it's lighted. That's going to be consistent with what you've seen in the past. Now I've got our marine grade LED lights up here as well as here and the signature windshield assembly. This is automotive glass up here which serves to really light up the interior of the kitchen in this case. In the past, White Hawks, virtually every one, this was the headboard of your bed. And Jayco still makes a lot of, of, uh, of White Hawks that, that have that floor plan. But in this case, now you can utilize that natural light all day long in the kitchen where I personally think you benefit from the natural light a lot more than you do in the bedroom. But you can be the judge of that. and We'll show that to you in a minute. Here's the other side of our pass-through storage. Have a battery disconnect right here and our inverter living right up there on the ceiling. Nice clean pass through storage. I do have an outdoor shower. It's hot and cold right here to wash up those sandy feet at the beach or that dirty, nasty, stinky dog, okay? Coming along this side, you can see I've got two slides over here. Both slides are over here instead of the other side. I have alloy wheels here, and when I noticed that we had a front kitchen floor plan, I guessed that there would probably be a sewer outlet up front. But no, it all terminates into one back here. So you're not having to get one of those Y fittings to connect two outlets into one at your campsite. I have one right here. Uh, so that's good, and I appreciate the convenience of that. Uh, underneath this slide, you can see I have a detachable 50 amp power cord, our main city water connection, and then when you need it, your black tank flush valve there. Now, if you have cable at your campground, and many of them do these days, you can hook up right here, then you'll have cable on the inside of the coach. 
Now this unit, like all White Hawks, is prepped for a rear camera. It's also prepped for side cameras up front, so if you want to add cameras, it's plug and play. Now this unit's 50 amps, so you got plenty of power. It's got two AC units on it as well. Uh, Goodyear, American-made, six-year warranted tires, including the spare. So this spare's mounted just like the ones on the unit, and it's also a Goodyear with a six-year warranty. Now, coming over to what I call the fun side of the trailer, the fun side where the patio is, where the picnic table and the fire pit and everything. Look at all this awning coverage I have. The entire length of the coach almost with an LED light strip up here, two speakers on which I can stream music through uh, and enjoy the patio side here. Now, if you want to bring your TV out here, you'll get a bracket that can, can uh, mount your TV on here, hook up to cable or satellite, and your power right here as well. You may want to bring the table out here, and they give you a table. I'll show you on the inside. Every White Hawk comes with a, uh, a utility table that you can bring outside. Sometimes it's in the front storage compartment, sometimes it's inside. This one's on the inside. Bring that table out here. You can set the TV on or mount it, but you can put a coffee maker, blender, or whatever, right out here under the patio. Now, I mentioned there's the, uh, the uh, griddle, and that pops into this J port right here, and there's a, your LP quick connect right under here, so you can have your griddle resting about here under the covered portion of the awning. So you can be cooking out here if you'd like to do that. Notice there's two entries on this coach. Um, we have standard these quick drop steps and then a secondary point of entry and I'll show you why. This is going into the bedroom area. Uh, when you move the slides in sometimes you lose access to the part of the part of the coach and that's why oftentimes you'll see two entrances to a coach. The other reason you might see two entries is if one of them goes right into a bathroom. Those are the two scenarios when you'll see two entries into the coach. Now these steps fold in for travel. Um, there's a little light switch right here that is a blue light that casts just enough light under here without blinding your neighbors to make a safe point of entry. Open this up and these simply fold in for travel like this. Now these are real easily adjustable. Right where these yellow collars are, you just pull out on this and each one of these legs freely adjusts up and down. We do have Asdell fiberglass exterior on this. Jayco's famous for vacuum bonding these fiberglass walls, and that's huge. It's an expensive, slow, tedious process, but that means that over the lifetime of this coach, it's highly unlikely that the walls are gonna delaminate on you. So kudos to Jayco for continuing to do that, and this is, these are Asdell uh, sidewalls. Back of our refrigerator right here in our furnace uh, here, here's your potable water uh, fill. It's a gravity fill, so if you're gonna go off grid for a while, you're gonna put your water in here, turn your water pump inside, and now we'll have pressurized water. I don't recommend taking more than a few gallons at a time, otherwise you're just hauling weight around unnecessarily, but that's a gravity fill right there, easily accessible. So with that, I would be amiss if I don't point this out, and sometimes I forget to say this. The 2 plus 3 warranty is by far an industry leading warranty from Jayco. Everybody else is gonna have a one there. You'll see a three very often on three year structural warranties. A lot of uh, manufacturers will have that plastered all over their units, three year warranty. It's structural, and that is important. You just don't see structural warranty claims very often. The two-year limited, though, is huge. That covers all the gadgetry and the, and the appliances and things like that. It's really important, and it's impressive that Jayco continues to keep that two-year warranty intact. So let's go inside and have a look. So now we're in this front kitchen White Hawk. I really love this. So yeah, I'm pretty sure this is my favorite couple's camper in the whole White Hawk line. Um, I can just shotgun a bunch of reasons why. A huge kitchen with a huge window with tons of counter space up here, perfect TV viewing angle, whether you're sitting in the dinette or the reclining chairs. I've got a coat closet right inside the door 
And like I said, in my favorite things, the bed is in a slide. So while this is not a huge trailer, although don't let the 26 FK fool you, it's not 26 feet long, it's closer to 32 feet long. So it's not a 26 foot trailer, but we're not talking fifth wheel huge either. Look at all this counter space up here in this front kitchen model. So if you like to cook and prep food, this is just fantastic. Um, I've got my huge window up here, so I've got windows on the side, this huge window up here, which really lets in a lot of natural light. Now, not only do you have wireless charging on one side over here, you've got it on both sides of the counter. So you've got one there and I've got one here. Now both of these pop up like so for a little tower of power. So I have two household plugs, USB-C, and then regular USB on both sides. So my phone's sitting there charging. So hey, uh, you got a his and hers side. You know, he can be charging his, his phone and she can be charging hers over here and both be prepping food and not be on top of each other. Now let me just show you all the storage we have here. Look at this. So I've got three drawers on the right, I've got three drawers on the left, and three cabinet doors for larger pots and pans. As well, if you look under there, there's even a, a lot of space that goes down to the floor and then storage underneath the range here. So really a lot of storage, if you, especially if you like to cook and save some money while being out on the road. So very functional galley. This is what my wife would call a two-butt kitchen, not a one-butt kitchen. Two people can be in here prepping food at the same time and not be on top of each other. Three burner Furion cooktop. This removes easily for uh, cleaning. Behind here you can see we have a knife holder. So there's places to put your knives in there safely. Roll this back to become your backsplash. And then a little oven big enough for pizzas and pot pies and cookies and stuff like that. Now we have a, a vented range hood up here. This is vented to the outside just like home and we have a light here. Small microwave big enough to warm up those leftovers. Smoked glass uh, inserts on the cabinetry above here. Jayco's been famous for their cabinet build for a long time. These are solid maple doors not particle board with tape on them. Now this unit, as you can see, is equipped with 200 watts of solar already. So there's two panels up on the roof. It already has a charge controller. And that's going to go a long way to keeping your batteries happy because those batteries, when you have no other source of power, are powering this 12 volt refrigerator. So um, when you're plugged into shore power at the campground, you're, you've got power, endless power, but if you're off grid, uh, you're going to be drawing power from your batteries for this 12 volt fridge in your freezer compartment up here. I'm a huge fan of these mostly because they're much larger than gas absorption fridges and they work like a residential fridge. It's a compressor fridge. Now uh, I'm going to point out the good, the bad, and the ugly. Fortunately there's a way more good than bad or ugly on this, but I have storage up here, but whoops. How does this stay up? I'm wishing for some gas struts or something to hold this open while I'm fishing something out from up here. So uh, note to Jayco, maybe we can put some gas struts on these. Is this a huge enough deal for me to not buy it? No, I still love this floor plan. I love way more about this than I don't, but I'm missing gas struts up here. So it's my job to point out everything to you so you can make an informed decision. Huge deal, no, but wish that had guest struts. I have a skylight up here. So in addition to this window, windows, this really lets a lot of natural light in here. So you can see my shiny bald head better. Pull that closed. Now, I mentioned TV viewing area. <laughs> you know, the older I get, the more important TV viewing area is. Boom, I can see the TV while I'm eating my Wheaties in the morning right here. I can see the TV easily from those wall hugger theater seats as well. Uh, it's at a, a nicely placed angle. So even when you're in the kitchen here, I can turn around and catch the football game score. Now this drops down to become a bed. Uh, in the unlikely event that your cousin comes to visit, this will drop down 
um, for a sleeping surface. And we have some storage underneath. I like these little accent toe kick lights here. Really classes it up. And speaking of which, I have our little inserts here for our TV tray inserts. These simply lift out if you don't want them in here, but if you do, you don't lose your cup holder. And then, like I said, they're wall huggers, so you just pull up on this tab, push it back. That's pretty comfortable, even for my six foot frame. Now, I have a fireplace here, which is a fancy space heater. Um, I wish our RV that we have now had a, had a fireplace mostly for the space heater function. So if you're at a campground and you already paid your 50 bucks a night or whatever, you can use their electricity to knock the chill off of your unit. Now you don't have to uh, have this throwing heat. You can just have it uh, lit up for appearance. It looks nice and cozy. It's up to you. And there's different settings you can do, different lighting schemes. So that's neat. I like these fireplaces. We have a Bluetooth stereo entertainment system here. So the BT right there, hit that, pair your phone. Now I can push music through the speakers in here as well as the speakers out on the patio. Have a little bit of storage on either side here. There's actually a USB port in here. And then over on this side, you'll see that little green light there. Here's a little quick tip I'm gonna embed in the middle of this video. That green light needs to be on to power that antenna up on top. When you're getting cable signals, you're gonna make sure that green light's not on to get all your cable signals. You want that green light on. And remember to do that, because if you don't do that, you won't pull in as many channels. I have an Insignia Smart TV, finally. In the past, these were non-smart TVs. This is an Ins Insignia Fire TV. So it's easy to mirror your phone content, stream content from your phone onto this television. That's a nice upgrade and I, I appreciate it. Uh, does not tilt out. I can pop this off of here, but it does not tilt out. Don't think I would really need to though with the angle that it's at. Now I mentioned this coat closet when I, on my top three favorite things. As an RVer, when I'm coming in and out of the coach, this area, this is high traffic area, I've got the dog leashes, I got the dog poop bags, I got the kids toys, whatever. This is the perfect, this is gonna get used a lot. So I'm gonna toss things in here. I've got a drawer here as well, and a couple places to hang a hat and jacket and so on. I can remove this shelf entirely to hang larger coats or whatever, but if I wanna use it for shelf storage, I can do that, but I really like having a coat closet right inside the door. Speaking of right inside the door, here's our J command system. So this is the brains of the coach um, where I can check all my tank levels here, my water pump, electric and gas water heater settings. I can control my awning, stabilizing jacks and slides all from here. Here's the cool thing, put that app on your phone, the J Command app, and you can do all these functions from your phone. There's little toggle switches up here for all the living room lights and awning lights, which you can just reach up here and do that real quick when you're coming in at night if none of the lights are on. Over here's our gas water heater, our Furion tankless gas water heater controls are right here inside the door as well. Again, 60,000 BTUs, that's huge. That's a great, great uh, on-demand tankless water heater. When you have a tank, you're heating that water tank all the time, just like at home. You get a 60-gallon water heater, your water heater's running all day when you're at work or whatever. It's running to keep that tank hot. Same way with most RV water heaters. That propane is continuing to heat that tank and you're burning a little propane in the process, or electricity, as it were, either way. In this case, you're only using uh, power when you're heating the uh, water heater itself. So, nice big kitchen here, fantastic. I have a barreled ceiling, which is a signature of the White Hot, so it really gives a more open, air, airy feeling. Now, I mentioned the table that comes with every White Hawk. This one's right here. This is kind of interesting. So I can pull this table out, it's a regular plastic table, just like you have at church, church picnics and stuff, but it's right in here and it's taking up very little room. And I'm gonna be using this all the time, out there cooking next to the fire pit and everything. 
pop it in here and secure it. Boom, really, really like that. Let's go to the back and have a look at the bedroom and then we'll circle around to the bathroom. I can access the bathroom either from the hallway or the bedroom here, either one. Now this is queen bed standard, not king bed optional on this floor plan. Not an option to get a king bed on this. I think because Jayco said, all right, we're gonna give you a bed in a slide. If we put a king bed in here, there's just a not enough real estate to move around it, just guessing. But it's queen bed standard. I do have household current and USB uh, plugs on either side of the bed. Once again, I do have storage up top and I'm still missing gas struts here. Not to harbor on that, but kind of wishing there was gas struts up there. We have storage on either side of really what is an entertainment uh, assembly up here. So I got hanging clothes storage there. Same drill on this side. I can remove this shelf easily and pop a television in there uh, if you so choose. Otherwise, I just have more storage up here. And then there's four drawers down below here. They're shallow drawers, but big enough for uh, all of my stuff, probably. <laughs> all, my, all my socks, anyway. Now there is storage under this bed. There are gas struts under here. So I have storage under here uh, for blankets and, and extra supplies underneath the bed. As always with Jayco, plywood bed deck here. There's plywood under our feet and plywood up on the roof. 4,500 pound weight rating on the roof. Now, finally, Jayco, thank you. You labeled the slide out room toggle right here. It says slide out room. <laughs> so that takes the guesswork out of it uh, right here next to the light switch. So controller slides here. You can also control them from the, the panel, J command panel up front. Slipping into the bathroom, I do have a backlit medicine cabinet. Glass shower enclosure here. I'm six feet tall, have a skylight up here. So if you're more in the 6'3", 6'4", range, plenty of headroom up here. Plenty of room in here for me to take a comfortable shower. Here's a little quick tip too. These are glass. Banging together, they may break going down the road. So make sure you secure this like so. Always have a pre-trip checklist, and this should be on it as an example, among other things. Checking for kids' toys underneath the coach, uh, checking to make sure the awning's in, stuff like that. Make that checklist, and even if you've done it for 32 years like I have, still refer to that checklist because you get busy, the kids are screaming, it's hot, it's time to go home and you forget things and stuff breaks or whatever. So anyway, quick tip, nice little undermount sink up here. We are in the modern farmhouse decor, which has proven to be real popular. I have a porcelain foot flush toilet here. That pink stuff is RV antifreeze, right? Plenty of room here, plenty of leg room for my six foot frame. Have little bath hooks, bathrobe hooks up there for towels, so open that up. You can reach over there and grab a towel. I appreciate that. Also, neat about this floor plan, in the unlikely event you do have guests, they can access the bathroom from the living area. They don't have to go through the bedroom area. So, it's nice for entertaining too. So, whether or not you tell anybody this makes into a bed, that's your business. <laughs> you could say, hey, our RV sleeps too. It entertains four, feeds six. Y'all have a nice night. We'll see you tomorrow. Up to you. But if you do have the guests over for a cocktail hour, have some drinks, watch the football game, easy to access that bathroom. All right, so we're in a 26FK front kitchen white hot. Yep, pretty much, pretty sure this is my favorite couples floor plan among all the White Hawk line, but my vote doesn't count more than yours. So leave a comment below. I'm really curious what you think about all this. Where could Jayco do better? What'd they do, right? What do you think? I'm digging it myself, but let me know what you think. In fact, if you have any questions at all or request other videos, drop a comment below. While you're down there, click like and subscribe if you would, please and thank you. That way you'll be the first to know when we post more videos just like this one. Again, my name is Mike. Thanks for joining me and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching our video. If you have any questions or any suggestions on content you'd like to see, leave a comment below. 
If you enjoyed the video, be sure to like and subscribe. Thanks again from Vod RV.